Okay, salam. Um, hi semua. So we're gonna continue with our tutorial. Okay. Jadi uh, sekarang kita akan continue from this view lah, eh, the three D view. Okay, so from your assessment baru-baru ni, I can see that uh, most of you people you couldn't uh, download the family tu kan, the load families tu. So most probably it's because you didn't fully download the version tu lah sebenarnya. Jadi what you have to do adalah you can uninstall sebenarnya. Uninstall but you can install balik. Okay, nanti you ada masa you cubalah buat macam tu. Tapi make sure you save all the files dulu lah. Nanti kalau tak you kena buat balik. Okay, so you try to reinstall semula. Lepas tu pastikan lah sebabnya kena dua kali sebenarnya. Tapi kalau nak selamat, uh, saya lagi suka buat you jangan install and download, you download dulu. Okay, you download dulu. Lepas tu bila dia dah download and then you install. You buat step by step. Ya, yeah? macam tu lagi selamat kot. Buat dia buat satu demi satu. Dia tak buat sekaligus. Okay, so uh, we're going to continue here. Okay, so hari ni kita akan uh, move on to adding a curtain wall. Okay, so these two walls you can see here. Ni wall yang pertama. And then dengan yang ni. So, dengan wall ni, dengan wall ni. The, these two walls ni kita nak buat curtain wall. Okay. Jadi, kita start sekarang lah. Okay, I'm still following the manual lah ni. There are certain parts that I I can't follow the manual. Okay. Uh, I've declared that before. Sebab 2014 uh, dia tak sama dengan 2020 ataupun 2019 ataupun 2018. Ha, jadi, kita uh, we try to use uh, dengan whatever that we have. Okay, so now you go to your lower level. Okay, then you zoom up sikit lah. Okay, so yang ni adalah dinding yang kita nak tadi. Okay, so let's say I nak tengok uh, these two dinding uh, in a view, in in both views. Okay, jadi saya can, I can do it like this. Here, you tekan view kat atas ni. Okay, then you go to tile views. Okay, so when you click this, uh, you can see both views lah. Okay, so you can set here. Okay, so bila saya hide, when I'm uh, highlighting this, uh, sekarang ni saya tengah control, saya tekan control uh, button, then I'm going to press this one. So when I like highlight yang bahagian ni, so this one pun dia terhalat sekali. Okay, so you can see the both views. Okay, so sekarang ni, uh, I want to change these two walls kepada curtain walls. Okay, so now we have to go to uh, modify tool. Kita nak split. Okay, so I'm going to take this split tool. The split command. Saya akan zoom up sikit. So I'm going to split it here. Kenapa saya nak split? Because uh, saya nak split the wall supaya dia tak bersambung dengan pintu ni. Okay. So, after I've split, saya akan modify. Ataupun escape twice. Then, saya akan press control. Eh? Saya akan ambil this east wall dengan this north wall. Okay. So, you tengok sini, dia dah both dah highlighted. And I... I'm going to go to my properties here. Drop down. Then, saya akan cari curtain wall store front. Okay. So, you tengok the perubahan eh when I click this. Okay. Bila saya dah click. There, you can see. Kita dah tukar kepada curtain wall. So, this is the store front. Artinya macam uh, hadapan kedai lah kan. Okay, so dia dah cantik sikit lah. Okay. So, sekarang kita dah ada view macam ni. Tapi, now we want to change the the properties of the curtain wall ni. Okay, so macam mana kita nak belajar buat. Okay, so sekarang saya akan select ni. So, when I select this, you tengok dekat bawah sekali. You akan tengok dekat bawah ni. Okay, you tengok kat bawah ni eh. Tengok kat bawah ni. When I select this, so you know that is uh, walls, curtain wall, storefront. Okay, so I already selected that one. 
Then um, I'm going to go to the properties. So I can edit type. Okay, so I can edit type. So sekarang my properties for this uh, particular curtain wall adalah yang ni. Okay, the vertical 1524 dan dia punya spacing adalah 2400. So vertical adalah the vertical dengan dia punya horizontal lah. So you can see the measurement. So sekarang saya nak tukar. And whenever saya nak tukar any type of material ke dia punya uh, spacing ke eh, dia punya jarak ni I have to duplicate. You don't simply tukar kat sini sebab this is uh, memang dah dia punya family. Eh, kita call it the family. Okay, so jadi kita tak nak ubah. So we have to create a new one by duplicating it. Okay, so I'm going to press duplicate. Okay, dan kita akan berikan dia nama yang baru. Which is house 1200 times 1200 mm. Okay. So sekarang, nama type dia saya dah tukar. Okay. Tapi, the details is kita tak tukar lagi. So, we have to change. Okay. So, we have to change kepada 1200. Kepada 1200. Why? Because this is the distance that we want. Eh? Kalau you letak dekat sini 1500 times 1500, then you tukarlah sini 1500 times 1500. Okay, so after you've done this, click OK. So when you click OK, you see, automatically dia akan tukar. Kan tadi dia macam ni, sekarang dia akan macam ni. Okay, then you click modify. Now. So, sekarang you dah tengok dia dah bertukar. Okay, sekarang kita nak jadikan dia bahagian yang the east wall. This is the east wall. This is the north wall. So, kita, we want the east wall to be same like the north wall. Okay. Dan uh, salah satu cara yang kita boleh gunakan adalah uh, we can use the match type properties. Okay. Jadi, uh, kita pergi ke modify. Then we go to this one, clipboard, yang ni. The shortcut is MA, match type properties. Ini kita nak match. So saya akan tekan match, okay. Dan saya akan choose apa yang saya nak tadi. So saya akan choose yang ni, okay. Saya akan choose ni. Automatically kis ni ada kan highlight. Pasal saya nak dia ni, saya nak matchkan yang tu dengan yang ni, okay. So saya akan tekan sini pula. So, automatically, dia akan pun tukar. Dia pun akan tukar. Alright. So, you tengok tadi perubahan dia. Okay. Dia dah tukar. So, saya akan um, guna press modify. Okay. So, now you have a nice um, wall. Curtain walling lah. Okay. Senang je. Okay, so we're heading on to attaching the roof. Okay, how we want to attach the roof to the... How we want to attach the walls to the roof. Okay, satu cara yang kita boleh buat adalah... You just... Ni je lah. Okay, saya suka je sebab saya from the 3D ni kan. Ni kan ni. Sekejap eh. Okay, I'm just going to delete this one dulu. Because I want a full view here. Okay. So sekarang kita nak attach sebab when you see it here you tengok dia tak bersambung kan the walls okay so you boleh highlight all the walls okay the wall you highlight you tekan control and then you just select all the other walls yang you nak okay select select okay the internal walls if you can see pun you can just select interesting oh, sorry Okay. Saya tak dapat nak identify yang ni. Oh, sebab saya tekan ni. Okay. Control. Pusing and control lagi. So, I'm going to select this wall. Okay. 
this one okay so bila i already selected uh, these walls so i can okay eh? okay kejap saya dah tadi select dah ni Okay, so you just select all the walls. Okay, the select you control, you select everything. Oh, benda lah, aku select ni. Eh. Okay, my mouse ni dalam macam tak betul sangat. Okay, I'm going to do it again. Select satu. Control. Select my wall yang ni. I'm going to select yang ni. Yang ni. Okay. Dan saya akan berpusing ke belakang. Select. I'm just going to select all my walls lah. Eh. Okay. Dan bila saya dah select dah, saya akan tekan ni, attach top base. Attach. Lepas tu, saya akan click on the roof. So, automatically, dia akan attach. Okay, tapi dia akan keluar this pop-up box. Okay, because of the curtain wall tadi. It's okay, you just click delete elements. Okay, it's not going to be a problem. Okay, so after that, you tekan modify. Then when you browse over, all your dinding semua dah bercantum dengan new punya roof. Okay. So maybe dinding bahagian dalam. Okay, kita tengok dulu. So you can see bin, mungkin uh, your walls dekat bahagian dalam ni dia belum attach kan. Okay, so you can see it from here. So, salah satu cara adalah you can use the wire frame lah. Use the wire frame. Lepas tu you buat balik lah tadi. So, you already select one. Control. You select dua. Tiga. Okay. I think those are just yang the internal walls are ladder. Then you attach to the roof. Okay. Then you change back to the shaded one. Okay, so now you already have your curtain walls and you already attached your walls to the roof. Okay, so for now, let's say I want to change these windows. Okay, windows ni macam boring kan? Okay, salah satu cara, this is another tip. Let's say I want this window. Okay, so I know this is fixed window. 915 times 1220 mm. Lepas tu I can control ambil juga lagi satu, ambil juga lagi satu. One by one. Okay. By pressing control and selecting. Another uh, another cara to buat adalah you just click once and then you right click your mouse and then you can select all instances. Meaning that you want to select apa Jenis yang sama. The same type of the fixed window. Sama ada dia visible in the view sekarang. Eh, yang you nampak sekarang ataupun in the entire project. Let's say if I want it to be in the entire project. So, I'm just going to press entire project. Then, automatically dia akan highlight semua yang berkenaan. So, saya pusing belakang. Saya nak tengok ada tak? Ha, see? Ada. Dekat belakang pun ada yang menggunakan jenis tingkap yang sama. So, maybe kalau saya nak tukar. So, I can just like change to the windows that I want lah. Let's say I want to change to this window. So, I'm just going to choose this one. Okay. Then, automatically, dia akan tukar. Okay. So, macam tu lah if you want to change your windows. Ya, ni macam jarak dia terlampau dekat sangat kan. Ha, so, you know lah how to adjust eh. Kalau you nak tukar lah. Okay. So, I'm just going to leave mine like that for this moment.
Okay. So for this video, we've done the curtain walling dengan attach the walls to the roof. Okay, I'm going to continue with the uh, second video. Kejap lagi. Alright. Okay, thank you guys.